many called miracle uh, cases, which were already documented in the Mayo Clinic, and uh, could not get uh, the help from Mayo Clinic or from any other hospitals. But when they came to my Qigong practice and uh, individual healing, they found and uh, got the symptoms to disappear. One of the examples was a, a, a lady who was uh, uh, having oxygen for six and a half years, 24 hours a day, and the lungs were filled with the scar tissues, and nobody could help her. And, and then so uh, she, uh, the Mayo Clinic wanted, have her, uh, wanted to uh, have her to do lung transplant, and she didn't want to do that. Then she, her son brought her to me, and to the Qigong practice, four weeks Qigong practice, one hour a day. Went back to the Mayo Clinic, all the scar tissues in the lungs disappeared. This was document was documented in the Mayo Clinic, and then quite a few other cases very similar to this. And uh, uh, so then later on, they invited me to uh, do a chapter on uh, the complementary medicine textbook in the Mayo Clinic. So if you go to that textbook, you 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 will find the chapter what I wrote about Qigong. <laughs> and then I did a a, a study with a, a, another group of people on uh, bipolar and depression, and the result was fantastic. And then so got another individual study on uh, I mean uh, a, a independent study on uh, called internal uh, Qigong, and that that one worked three so far three studies on spring for Qigong, and each one worked beautifully. Now, the, the development of Qigong. <laughs> now, what is Qi, what is Gong then? Qi means energy, Gong means work. Working with the body's energy, that's all Qigong about. Now, how was the name of Qigong got adapted at then? Long, long time ago, now Qigong, they, they way, way back to uh, the written, the first, the written, uh, the earliest, the written form of Qigong is from uh, 4,500 years ago, from the person is called Da Yu, Ke Yu Bu, Da Yu Zhi Sui. Many of us know Da Yu Yu Bu. So at that time, he had arthritis. He was not able to conduct this the ceremonies worshiping God, nature. So he gradually he developed a kind of a dance, slow dance to help him help people to do the ceremony to to honor God, honor um, Mother Nature for giving them the, uh, the, the things to eat and uh, life to enjoy. So, in this slow dance, he discovered that this could help him to ease the pain. And gradually, this was the first form of Qigong got developed. But at that time, the, through thousands of years, I mean, in the, in the histories, you know, lots of scholars and doctors like Li Shizhen and Sun Ximiao, and many, many other doctors like these people, they got involved with these studies, like Hua Tuo and the Wu Qin Xi. They, through this like, uh, imitation of the animals and the way they stretch their wings, their legs, you know, wow, they feel, they feel better. What is that, you know? So then at that time, they first they gave the name, it's called Tu Na Su, means like inhale, exhale, breathing technique. Or they call it um, a, a Qi guided movement. So later on, up to they work with the body, getting deeper and deeper into the body, they found out this not only affects the individual health, it also could affect the matters around. Then what is that? What does this chi mean? So gradually, up to so many years of development at the early uh, 30s of uh, last century, a new, a new name got adapted called Qigong. That's how we call it Qigong now. We say the function of the chi, the power of this chi, the exercise of this chi, this energy. Now, the qi in Chinese it has so many meanings. It means air, breath, energy. But for the healing purpose, it means the intelligence, the origin of life. Tao call this yuan shen or yuan qi. What is yuan shen yuan qi? Yuan shen yuan qi, that means the origin of life. 
uh, the origin which carries the information which can form a perfect body of you. That if you throw away, you can help yourself to activate that energy, activate that yuan shen, the yuan qi. You can help yourself to fix any damaged tissues. Even you can have, help to re replace the damaged tissues. Though this not happen to everyone, but like the person I just uh, uh, shared with you, uh, uh, Esther Chui Hong, her lung scar tissues all disappear, and she lived another uh, 23 more extra years. And uh, she just passed away last year of heart attack, but at the age of uh, late 80s. I think that's a good life, right? <laughs> so, and uh, she had no pain, no any other things. And then, of course, they got lots of other uh, uh, the stories. So, you know, so far, um, uh, I, uh, I, we had, uh, through Spring for Qigong centers, we already taught um, 300,000 students. And uh, we had uh, uh, trained 240 teachers around the world. We have uh, uh, centers and uh, practice groups and around the world in European countries, in Australia, Singapore, Canada and so uh, and uh, next week I mean so this week in uh, Wednesday I'm traveling to Canada to give uh, kind of five five days in a workshop there and then so far there's more than um, ten thousand forms of qigong exist in China currently and there's a lot of more scientific studies already done on qigong so the power of qigong now is getting getting more known in the world. Now, Qigong has two, two different parts, internal Qigong and external Qigong. In, external Qigong means a, a Qigong practitioner. Through some kind of training, some people believe that you, know, you need a long, long time of training before you can do that, right? Actually, in my discovery, no, you only need two minutes to learn how to send out energy to help others to heal. Only two minutes. You might say, you're not kidding me. Well, yes, I am. I am kidding you. And because I want you to believe, and I want you to know it is so real. We'll do it a little bit later. <laughs> then internal Qigong is a practitioner, like every one of you, through exercises, a very gentle exercises, combining your mind, your breath, your movements together, conduct the flow of qi in your body, you can help yourself to heal, to balance energy blockages in the body. So talking about qigong, now why we need to do qigong then? Then we need to first ask this question, why do we get sick? Why do we get sick? We get sick from the very basic level to answer this question is because you got energy blockages in the body. For instance, if you have an energy blockage in the C7, when you bend over, you touch your neck, there's a hum over there, and uh, so that is the C7, right? And the cervical number seven in the neck. When there's a blockage over here, you know, this blockage could cause how many different kinds of symptoms or illnesses in your body? High blood pressure, heart attack, diabetes, asthma, any, any types of breathing problems, migraine headaches, anything, you just name it. So if you throw away, you can help yourself to open up this energy blockage. All these symptoms can go away. You believe it, it works. You don't believe it, it still works. <laughs> because this is your body. And uh, Qigong has four elements. These four elements can help you to open up these energy blockages. The first one is the movement. The way you move your hand, the way you, you hold the posture of your body. You know, when we, when we do the muscle art, you know, to hold the hands like this, all right? Tai Chi, you know, this movement, and it's just so gentle. That's called Tai Chi. Okay, for healing, you will find out all the movements, no matter in yoga practice, or in Tai Chi, or in Qigong, we all focus a lot in the hand, the movements in the hand, and of course the legs too. Because this is the formation of the body. 
In the body, we have 12 major energy channels. These 12 major, major energy channels, they either, that's called, in, in acupuncture, we call it meridians. They either start or end from the hands or the feet. This is how the energy flows. It starts from the, the chest, it flows to the arms, and from the arms, it flows up to the head. From the head, it flows down to the legs, and then the legs, and it flows up to the abdomen, and then up to the chest again, and then for another circulation. And all these energy channels, among these 12 energy channels, two energy channels that are mainly in charge of detoxification. These two energy channels, they are bladder energy channels and stomach energy channels. The stomach energy channels start from the, head, from the eyes over here. It goes down a little bit and up to the temples and then down to the neck, uh, to the breast and liver and the, the peril and the, down to the second top. The bladder energy channel starts from the corner of the eyes and goes up to the top of the head and then back up and then down along the spine, outside the spine and dump the garbage out through the little toe. So that's why you need to put your feet on the ground. No matter how much you do, you need to get on your feet and do your exercise and walk. If you don't, you cannot help the body to process the information, detoxifying the body. Two energy channels, mainly in charge of energy gaining in the body. That is the kidney energy channels and then the liver energy channels. They all start from the feet and up to the chest, and liver energy channel, and then the liver organ has a special uh, energy channel connects directly to the brain. So when I listen all the, to the, the, the scientists the, the, uh, talks, I thought, wow, that is just so amazing. Any problems, almost any problems, no matter you call it as migraine headaches to uh, cancer, they all have something to do with the liver. The liver, 70% of the toxin inside the body goes out through the liver system. 30% goes out through the breathing system, the lungs. And this, again, you believe it, it works. You don't believe it, it still works in that way. <laughs> this is about your body. So if you can throw away, help yourself to detoxify this toxin, this energy blockages in your body, you can live a very happy and healthy life. So, look, like in here, see, now I want you to do one, one uh, 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 exercise with me, okay? So I want you to focus on your nose and take two deep breaths and see how much your sinuses are uh, open, like this. All right, I want you to put up your left arm, like what I do. And then you cup, you cup your left arm like what I do. And you, when you cut, you really do it, right? Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Do the other arm. One, two, three, four, five. Now take another two deep breaths and see how much your sinus is open. Wow. Do you see the difference? How many of you see the difference? All right? Cover the arms because there's a lot of energy channels that start from over here connecting directly to your lungs. Your lungs energy is good or bad, shows out through your nose. So if you have lung problems, if you have sinuses problems, I mean, if you don't do anything to your lungs, you solely treat your nose, you make a mistake. You need to go to the root to take care of the blockage from over here so that the energy can flow. So that's about the movement. The second one is the breath, the way you breathe. Generally speaking, every day the way we breathe, it, it takes a, um, a one minute, it's, you know, a 15 to 25 times for human being. Dogs and cats, 25 and, plus, and 35. Sea turtles, about three to five times a minute, so that you can easily find a turtle <coughs> over 100 years. There's a lot of scientific studies that show that if you slow down your breath from 50 times a, mi a, a, a minute, 15 times a minute, 
down to 10 times a minute, dramatically you can help you to reduce your stress. And very often, dramatically, you can help you to reduce your high blood pressure. And Spring for Qigong, the, the way I created, it helps you to bring your breath down to six times a minute. That's why so many people, when they practice this form of exercise, they can help to tell, they can feel better, much faster. When you have more oxygen intake in every cell, every cell has more energy to function. The clarity of your mind is there, and then so that the mechanism and the many other systems in the body can function better. So of course, the energy flow is better, and you can help yourself to stay healthy and happy more often of your day. Then the third one is the mind. Our mind is very, very powerful. Now here I'm going to have you to do another exercise with me. First of all, I want you to look at the, your, your palm, all right, your hand. Find the first line underneath of your palm. Let's go to the right hand and find the same line. And put these two lines together, like what I do, stretch your fingers open like this. Put your hands like this. And slowly you close your hands like this and compare your hand, your fingers. And see which hand your fingers is like a little bit longer than the other size, right? And do it one more time and make sure you make it right. Right? Like my hands, my left hand's fingers a little bit longer than the right side. So if that happens to your fingers, put up your shorter hand. Put up your shorter hand, shorter fingers. If you have, uh, if, if the fingers is the same length, put up either of your hand. That will do, right? So what I want you to do now is in, uh, you focus on the hand you put up and think in your mind, saying like this, my fingers are growing longer, 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 longer. And if you really feel my fingers are growing longer, 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 I can really feel my fingers become longer, 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 longer. Now, open your eyes, compare your hands. Put the two lines together and compare your hands. All right? Do you see the difference? All right, we did a study. 75% of people, their fingers grow. Cool, huh? All right, so now I want you to put your hands uh, uh, I would just for a second, you say, my hands go back to normal. And then come, come here again. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. Now shake your hands a little bit. So this time, I want you to put up your longer hands, longer fingers. You talk just the opposite. My fingers are becoming shorter, shorter, shorter. I really feel my, my fingers are becoming shorter, 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 shorter. Now compare your hands. <laughs> Isn't that fun? This is called negative thought. Positive thought will drive your energy to a positive direction. Feel up the joints in your hands, in your fingers. You can play this game with anyone, you know. When you come to, uh, when you come to, uh, up, to, up to tonight, you go home, you ask you know, your, your, your folks, your family, you know, what did you learn from, from this uh, workshop? You say, well, finger growing game. <laughs> I have a question. Are yeah. you doing Tremian? Tremian? Yeah, I can do that too. Are you doing Tremian on us? That, oh, no, so can I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is about this is all about your mind. Right? We'll talk today. We're going to spend more time talking about this. Then the last one is the sound, the five elements, the chanting, the frequency. Chanting, Om Mani Padme Hum. You know, the Buddhist chant. A lot of people know about that. Right? Da Bei Zhou, Xin Jing, and uh, uh, Hallelujah. Right? Amen. All the chants, they carry frequency, and they carry healing information. It's very powerful, because the origin of our life was from frequency. When we analyze the body, you know, we got organs, we got liver, intestines, and this and that, you know, and then we got the you know, molecules, and these cells, and that kind of cells, and then the final analysis is what? 
is everything is energy, and everything can be interpreted into light and frequency, because we are all got originated from the Big Bang. We are all here, sitting here, drinking, laughing because of the Big Bang. The Big Bang has the signature of everything. That is the energy, uh, frequency, and light. This is very interesting. When you look at Buddhist uh, the studies and teaching, Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu in Tao Te Ching, he said, "Xuan zi you xuan, zhong miao zi men." Xuan zi you xuan, that is the magnetic field of light. In this magnetic field, some people call it. This is the void. This is the emptiness. This is the oneness. Everything with a message got created. Get programmed. If through a way you get yourself back to the origin of life, you are being re-downloaded with this information. Of course, you can get yourself healed very fast. Jesus talk about that. Buddha talk about that. And Lao Tzu talk about that. Yeah, Allah, Muhammad, you know, <laughs> Gandhi, you know, many, many, and. Uh, I study the, the meditations uh, and the healing techniques uh, about Egypt. They had similar uh, the things. It's fascinating because you now I have I, I, over these years I I helped a lot of people heal with the breast cancers and lung cancers and all kind of. Um, uh, I, I had a friend in New York. She, he was diagnosed with the two types of cancers. They are all different types. Stage four. Doctor gave him in about like six weeks you know, to live, because not it, it attached to a lot of different tissues, very complex, and I was not able to operate. So you practice the exercise. You know what? In the meditation, in this simple movement, he got into the light. He saw a lot of lavender light, and peaceful peacefulness came to him. He went back to the doctor. The tissues got separated away from the cancer. They had the operation. No chemotherapy, no radiation. He came up. Now it's three years and a half, cancer free. Never returned. So, the other thing is, and I have an exercise it's called small universe meditation. That is, again, I use the power of sound to help to move the energy. Now, the effects of negative and positive emotions to your health. The power of emotions. What is called emotion then? Now this is in my understanding. E motion means E plus motion. E means essential. Motion means activity. What is called essential activity then? Something is very fundamental. Activity of your health, of your body, of the formation of your body. It is fundamental means it is a life base. And this emotion, this energy can help to set and or reset your energy flow, your the energy program in your body. So Buddha focus on the emotions, help people with the enlightenment. Lao Tzu asks people to let go with your egos, let go with your emotions, so that you are able to live a life with abundance, right? And all these powerful masters in the past, they, they said the same thing. And now there's a lot of studies on the emotions too. And the, for instance, you know, so again, uh, something very simple. Uh, the Chinese way said, xiao yi xiao bai nian shao. And the English will have something similar, the same thing. It's a smile one smile, make your life 99. <laughs> right? Why smile one smile can make your life 99 then? Because once you smile, even you have an artificial smile, even think in your mind, I got a smile in, 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 on my face, or, 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 although at this moment I am crying. <laughs> your body, your brain automatically produces an, an endorphin. An endorphin is kind of a hormone that can help you, at least can kill the pain cells, can help you to feel good. Again, you believe it, it works like that. You don't believe it, it works like that. Then, the formation of the body. This is a good dog. Now, first of all, 
Emotion is powerful. Why is it powerful that? Now, the body has three parts. The physical body, the mind, and the subconscious mind. Buddha said, our body is a chopi nan, right? Our body is a chopi nan. Don't care about it. <laughs> care about your emotion. Care about your heart. Your heart is the permanent. Very interesting enough. Modern science already discovered this. Our physical body has no energy. But our mind has 10% of the energy, and our subconscious mind, that's what Buddha related to heart, has 90% of the energy. That is called the Yuan Shen or the Yuan Qi. The mind is, why the mind is so powerful? Now, we need to go to the next one. The seven steps of, uh, this is again uh, through my a lot of years of studies, and uh, only in the last like, in a few years I discovered this. I, I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I call it seven dimensions of healing, or energy practice. First of all, look at the first dimension. Generally speaking, when a person gets sick, you say, ah, oh, I got a lump in my neck over here. So what I'm gonna do? Huh, simple, cut it. <laughs> Get a surgery, cut it, right? Once you cut it, hey, the surgery was very successful, but the patient died. <laughs> what happened? Or get worse, what happened? Ah, then later on you found out, oh, the stomach energy channel goes through over here, connecting to the lungs, to the breast, to the liver. So, now, hey, there's a liver, wow, there's a lot of problems going on in that place. That's why I got a lung over here. So, now you go to the second dimension. You found the connection to treat this. By treating the liver, you are able to help yourself to balance the lung in the neck. That is better. Then you ask yourself a further question. Why I got a problem in my liver, not in other place? And what got, what got me have problems in my liver then? Oh, then you open your mind to a much bigger scale to understand who you are at this moment. Then you discover, ah, my feng shui, my design of the house. They laid out of the things, the items, and the things I, I got, you know, so this is so chemical, right? And it's so toxic. I smell every day, these kind of things is not good. Close to your computer that much often, you know, it affects your eyes and your liver, and blah, blah, blah. So now you are in the three dimension level, the wholeness in the material level to understand who you are at this moment, where you are at this moment. Then in the fourth level, you know, hey, you know, I got a twins. We're all 10 years old, got fitted in the Biden or the same parents, going to the same school, having the same activities. Why Tom is healthy and I have a problem then? So, well, that's because of the emotions. The emotion got evolved. A lot of people, if you can get through the emotions, keep your emotions stable, then you are, you are living a hallelujah life. <laughs> if you have your emotion, emotion now, so it is in the fourth, in the intersection. Any people, if you are looking for enlightenment, called Jue Wu, Dun Wu, the first thing you need to do is what? To get through your emotion. Let go with your emotion. So that you can be free. Once you are free, you are in the light level, number five. Oh, wow, that's a much bigger space. You are in the universal level to understand who you are. That is what we call it. If you understand who you are and what you are, you are in the universal level to value yourself. I am a resident on the planet, but at the same time, I'm also a resident of the universe. Something as a conflict you know, between me and my spouse, between me and my kids, and you know, all my co co-worker, that is, uh, the final analysis is not between you and your co-worker, co not between you and your wife, not between you and your kids, but it's always between you and the divine. It's always between you and 
Your God or your Buddha, whoever. Now you're in the light level to understand who you are. So a lot of people, a lot of my clients, no matter what kind of problems, tumors, stones, even HIV. I, I, I got involved with the studies in the uh, University of Minnesota because of a couple people had HIV, uh, the serious problems. They came to practice this exercise. All the items within two months, they, came, they became negative. Then I was got invited to do those uh, research. So then once you got into the light, now you go up to a higher level, to the origin of light. That is called Yuan Shen. Uh, in a place is so so peaceful. You don't need to worry about anything anymore. Hey, only a tumor, you know? Tumor, like a cancer for instance. You and I, we all have cancer cells in the body. Every day, the, the body produces one million to three million cancer cells. In the survival level, cancer cells, they are the hard workers helping us to move the toughest, the dirtiest dust or toxin out from the system. If this cancer cells over that marker, then we start having problems in the body. Then we need to go see a doctor, right? So why do I need to worry about that? We're already born with those cells, right? So be friends with them. And uh, you, you need to throw away, understand how, in what way I treat a trigger. Then many more cancer cells get produced. So, but when you come to this level, then you really understand the message from God, the message from divine, or the, from the universe. It is only a word, or from Tao, you know. Some of Tao, Tao ke Tao, Wu Chang Tao, is it? Ming ke Ming, very Ming, you know, just that meaning. You know, everything got created because in the mystery of the mystery of light. If you can get yourself into the light, let go with anything, then you are in that level. So the illness, the illness, the, the way you heal the illness, this is what I teach my students how to do. If you got a problem, don't focus on the problem. Focus on something beautiful. Focus on something you are so happy. Why something is so happy can help you to Transform the energy into something better. Because emotion is so powerful. It is, it is in a way to help you to set or reset your energy flow. Now this is about in, uh, the five elements. The five elements. The five elements is Wu Hang, Wu Xing. This is our Lao Zhu This is a very This is the scientific pattern. 这个是一个很了不起的这个这个呃呃的studies. Okay, wood, heart, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. And wood relates to liver, and uh, fire relates to heart, and then stomach, and lungs, and kidneys. And in India, people discover four elements. 就四大,四大就是风,风 means the wood, wood means feng, 火,水, uh, uh, 土,水, you know, and without the metal. Chinese, Taoist people, they focus on longevity. In order to help you to live a happy and longer life, we need to have a relationship. How to make this relationship work as a wholeness? And Indian people, Buddhists, and the Hinduism, focuses on enlightenment. And they are focused on helping you to understand everything at the end of your life becomes nothing. It is from the dust and it goes back to the dust. So that's why they have a four element and Chinese have a five element. But they're all talking about the same thing. At that time, they did not have an email. <laughs> right? And the people, they discovered the same thing. And Actually, the five elements, three elements are the fundamental. Fire, water, and earth. Water carries information of life. Fire helps to activate the information in the water. And the earth gives the energy and the ground 
for the information to grow, to shape. These are the relationships. So now, this is how the negative emotion flows. Liver relate to anger, 愤怒, 就是发火, when you when you fa hua, alright, you fa hua, is there someone step on your toe? There we go. <laughs> step on your toe. It's like, hey gosh, you know what what do you do, right? You feel you you feel mad. You relate to something. If you allow this anger to grow, you grow into hatred. Once you grow into hatred, that is not only attached to the event itself. It opens a much bigger picture of yourself getting mad for no reason for something. You say, any situation, I can get, when I get in, in, invaded, how I'm going to fight? How I'm going to hate this world? Because of this, because of this, right? So, uh, after you make a lot of mistakes, you know, so you hatred, you know, you have that much hatred, you make mistakes, then you start feeling nervous. What is going on? Then anxiety and overthinking start. That's the stomach. 就是, 我们无形地讲的是那个思,思,悲思恐 yeah. So from that, then from anxiety, this energy continues to grow It grows, it hurts the lungs, that's the metal, that's the depression and sadness 悲就在心,在肺,是吧? So then when this sadness, the depression continues and then fear starts to kick in you have lots of fears. And when you have a fears, that hurts the kidneys. So I have a lot of clients. They have a kidney stones, cancers, or any other kidney failure problems. When I talk to them, they have a history of fears. Lots of fears. Very fascinating. If you allow these things to happen again, then bigger anger will get triggered, and then hatred, you know, blah, blah, blah. So this, because you look at this, you got anger, you hurt your liver. You got hatred, you hurt your heart. You're gonna have a heart attack. When you have anxiety and thinking and overthinking, you deplete the energy from the pancreas in the stomach and the spleen. And then when you have depression and sadness, that hurts your lungs. And then when you have fears, that hurts your vitality, your kidneys. So then how we are going to Transform this energy then. Now here is a happy flow. Alright, so from instead of having anger, you have happiness. You feel happy. If you then from happiness, you allow this happiness to grow, it grows into joy. Once you grow into joy, joy means happiness for no reason. This is how I give definition to happiness and joy. Happiness is, you know, you want something to happen. Something happens in the way you want, you are happy. <laughs> For instance, this evening, you got, uh, before you, come, you came to this uh, go workshop, you, 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 you told your husband or your wife, you know, I'm going to go to this workshop, right? So at this evening, when I come home, I like grilled chicken and baked potato. Right? <laughs> your wife or your husband said, no problem, darling, go. Right? So now you're going to have that. So when you later on, one hour, two hours later, got home, it's not on the table, no grilled chicken and potato, instead, macaroni. <laughs> huh, you know, you're not happy, right? Then your wife, you know, was just washing hands in the, in, in, in the bathroom, and also, you were just standing at the table, huh, what is going on here, you know? And my authority was invaded. <laughs> So you're, you know, then you have your, your, your wife you know, came out, you know, she said, Oh, hey, so good, darling, you're home now, huh? You know, our, our, our daughter just came visit us and bring us some macaroni, you know. Oh, yeah, so the, the, real, the grilled chicken still in the stove. <laughs> then you feel, oh, I make a mistake. Why I got mad with my wife at the very beginning without asking, you know, what was happening, right? So. Now, this is a girl called happiness. Happiness is conditional. Joy is, you know, when you look at the macaroni, you say, Oh, my 
wife is making something surprise to me. This is great. Thank you. So no, in, no matter in what situation, you are happy. So this is what I say about joy. You want something to happen. No matter something happens in the way you want or not, you always feel good. You always feel good. That is joy. When you allow this joy to grow, it grows into peace, into groundedness. You always feel so grounded. Then from groundedness, from peace, then you allow it to grow. It grows into contentment. You just, you just feel super mature. 我什么都我不和别人比，我就比我现在这这一瞬间我是怎么想的。Okay, once you feel the con contentment, you no, know, you content, then this grow grow into the vitality. The vitality is you know the divine energy. The divine energy is the yokini energy. That is the appreciation and thankfulness. You are living a life filled with the thankfulness. Look at those people who are living a life with a thankfulness, with a happiness, with a joy. These people, they live longer life, a happier, healthier life. You can do a study on your on your neighbors and on you know, your friends, and you find those people who are you know a worry person, and, uh, and they don't live, they don't expect to live too long, you know, or are too happy with their body, because. That will produce different kinds of energy or hormone, either helping the body to feel good or helping the body feel bad. So this is the five elements. So now conquer your emotions and heal yourself. Enlightenment. When if you want to, if you are looking for enlightenment, you need to conquer your emotions. This is what all the The, uh, the spiritual teachers taught us, teaching us, from the ancient time to nowadays. Well, if you want to heal yourself, you do the same thing, because if you flip your chart from the negative spin into the positive spin, from anger into happiness, from hatred into joy, then you are able to help yourself to reset the dynamic of your energy inside your body. That hallelujah, healing takes place. That is the root of your healing. Eighty to eighty-five percent of the chronic problems, like a diabetes, a heart attack, migraine headache, cancers, they originate from these emotions. By taking good care of your emotions, you help yourself to heal. I have I help a lot of people with different types of cancers, like the example of my my friend in in New York. When he practices the exercise, he completely changes his life. Now, how can I change my emotion? Then flip the chart from negative spin into a positive spin. Well, and uh, this is like an, uh, 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 at Wisconsin University. Uh, this uh, 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 a study, and uh, they have invited a lot of monks in you know, going into the lab to to do a study, and then the find. Uh, Then they did a lot of analysis, and then here is the conclusion of the study from this researcher. He said, "Happiness is not a trait, but a technique. Through practice, you can master it." That's it. Happiness. For a long, long time ago,、uh, the people believe it is a trait, you know, also in our psychological system. But through his studies, he found out that is not a, not not true. It is not a trait, but a skill, a technique. And this is a, so real too. Once you think you are happy at this moment, even you are not happy, you just pretend you are happy at this moment. Your body automatically produces endorphins. Interesting, huh? So this is how it you know it can. If you integrate your positive emotions into your qigong practice, movement of the body, breath, sound, quiet your mind down, 
using this emotion to help yourself to guide the energy flow and you make your Qigong practice, make your exercise many times more powerful. And this is also another study shows it. If you think about when you meditate, you think about the energy of your body, focusing on the high, focusing on the Dan Tian, you know, different part of the body, and you got great energy. But once you think about the universe, think about the divine, think about the moon, the sun, you have at least three times more energy than you solely focus on your body. So that's why you can look at Buddha, Lao Tzu, and all these powerful masters in the past, they ask us to focus on the divine, focus on the emptiness. Now, so steps of Qigong practice. First of all, you know your body. This is uh, your, your, the energy centers, the several energy centers in your body. Um, is it time? Five minutes? Okay, several energy centers in your body. And uh, uh, the Chinese, you know, because I'm, I'm doing Qigong, this is Chinese stuff, so I'll just focus on the Qigong itself, right? Qigong has a three dantians, which is a, um, lower dantian, middle dantian, and the upper dantian. Xia dantian, zhong dantian, zai xin zhang zhe di fang, and shang dantian, zhe zai na ge di san yan, na ge pineal gland, na ge zhe zhe shang dantian. Lower dantian is you know, in behind the belly button. And now we already discovered, this is, you know, not I discovered, and the scientists discovered this. 85% of uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, it's called life uh, stem cell code still existing in the belly button. Now what it means is it has the power to help you to rebuild your energy centers and rebuild your tissues. It has that ability because it has the origin of your life. All the information of your life. Through thousands of years' practice, these masters they discovered that, and also there's another fifteen percent along the spine. So if you move your energy, the spine we call it the channel is called governing channel. It governs all the other male healing energy channels in the body. If you throw away. You can help yourself to activate this energy stem cell code, vitality code. You are able to help you to conduct this energy to different organs to fix the damaged tissues. Just like Esther Chueho. The lung scar tissue is gone and she got completely new lungs. Then how are they going to help the, to activate that energy then? Well, spinal exercise is a, a very, very powerful movement. And uh, in India, yoga studies in Tai, tai Chi and uh, Qigong, we all agree. A length of a person's life depends on the flexibility of the spine. If your spine gets stiffer and stiffer, you need to really pay attention. You start aging. So, we have an exercise to help to activate that energy. And then the second thing is, you know, the energy channels. We already talked about the channels. Now here, so I want you to do one more exercise. And uh, so here, I want you to put your hands out like this, two hands. Drop your elbows a little bit, right? Drop your elbows a little bit, relax. Have your fingers open. And focus on your, the tip of the fingers. You start feeling kind of tingly sensation in your, in your hands, right? In the fingers, right? So now I want you to close your hands like this. Close. Put all the fingers together, like this. The thumb together, right? Do you still feel the tingling sensation? No, very little, right? Open your hands again. Ooh, you start feeling it again, right? And close? No. Why, okay, thank you. Why you, when you open your fingers, you are able to feel the tingling sensation. When you close your hands like that, and you don't feel that sensation anymore, because when you, all the energy channels in the hands, in the fingers, they all start or end at the size of the tip of the fingers. 
So when you close like this, you press the point of the energy for connecting each other. That's why you don't feel that much. When you open it like that, you open up for the circulation. You open it up for the communication. That's why you feel that. So in Tai Chi, when you move your hand, in Qigong, you move your hand, you have your hand slightly open, the fingers. You are able to get more Qi, get more energy. Once did your hand get the energy, this energy goes internally to help you to nurture your organs. And the hand, you see, 12 major energy channels in the body. Four energy channels are concerning about your heart. You see how powerful? And they are all in our hands. And they are belong, belonging to the triple heaters. What is tri triple heaters in the body means? It means it helps you to transform the energy and classify this energy into different uses to different parts of the body. Uh, this group of, uh, of energy should have this uh, kind of uh, uh, signature and going to the eyes and going to the lungs and going to the reproductive organs. And this, each different kind of energy has its own signature for the special use. That's how the triple heaters do to help you to live a happy life. If you have lung problems, for instance, you put your hands up like that for like a 10, 5 minutes. And you can help yourself to stop the coughing. Yeah, you believe it? It works. You don't believe it? It works. <laughs> yeah, now, the next time you, you can do this. If your kid or yourself too, if you've got a bloody nose, blood comes out from the left side of the nose, put your hand, right hand up above your head within one minute, even 15 seconds. The, the blood stops. The bleeding stops. If the blood comes up on the other side, put this hand up. If the blood comes from both the holes, what do you do? Hello. <laughs> Surrender yourself to your God, right? So that is it, right? And the one time when I was traveling and uh, taking a flight uh, from China back to the United States, and there was an a, a American a little guy who was bleeding very badly while the tissues, you know, in, and they asked him for doctors for help, you know, but it, uh, very unfortunately, there was no doctor in that flight. So I just finished using the restroom. I came, I came out and I asked the little boy, what happened to you? He said, I don't know, I've been bleeding like this, you know, God, wow, holding a lot of tissues, a lot of blood. I said, oh honey, put your hands up, you know, and count 15, and he did. And the blood, and the bleeding stopped. And the parents came back and said, what happened, you know? That Chinese guy asked me to do this. <laughs> so, when you do Qigong movement, first of all, honor your body. And then focus on what you are doing. Focus on the happiness thought, the happy thought. People say, oh, I cannot quiet my mind down. Don't worry about that. Nobody can quiet the mind down. Unless you have 20 years plus the training, you are able to get into the quietness in half an hour. Otherwise, no way, I tell you. I've been doing this for so many years, 30 years. I bold, I'm bold enough to tell you that. <laughs> and then notice, observe what you're doing. Feel the moment you're moving your hand. And then so integrate the positive healing message and emotions into your practice. So after the break, you know, we're going to go through this again. I will have some exercise for you. And then so feel the light, feel the frequency. If you cannot see the light, you just feel, ah, the tingling sensation in my hands. That's the frequency. That's the origin of your life. Focus on that. And then so activate and connect to the origin of life. Once you focus on the tingling sensation and, and uh, the, uh, the light, you know, then automatically you connect yourself to the moment. It is just like that symbol. Then from there you know your God, you know the divine. So and uh, then different different uh, the challenges in different ways. For people who have uh, like a lung problems, you might need to consider to put your hand the exercise and put it up in the above of your head. Even while you're sleeping, put your hand like this a little bit more. <laughs> if you have a you know so kind of digestive system problems, you might need to continue uh, f consider to focus on your belly button a little bit more. 
Now, if you have a kidney problems, you may consider to you know, bend your knees a little bit more down and you know, to do the exercise because by bending the knees like this, you can help yourself to activate your kidney energy channels, which will help you with a lot of vitality. So, and, uh, if you are interested, you know, we can uh, discuss that and, uh, uh, later. So, uh, diabetes and uh, migraine headaches and uh, different kind of things. Then uh, there's like uh, non-emotion related challenges and uh, accidents and uh, poisoning and uh, wrong medications, insect bites, etc. These are different ways to cope with the energy. But the bottom line is, get the channels open, be happy, don't worry, don't worry, be happy. And be happy, don't worry again. So thank you so very much.